Hello everyone, today we are going to solve this 94 number problem. It was asked in CSIR net December 2018. Here they have given us a functional along with two boundary conditions, but observe it carefully that uh, extra condition on the extremal is given to us, which says that a broken extremal is a continuous extremal whose derivative has jumped discontinuities at a finite number of points. That means we are given extra condition on extremal, we have to use this condition. So, it is not an ordinary calculus of variation problem, it is actually a mixed problem of calculus of variation and some concept, some basic concept of real analysis. So, let us try to solve this question with a very easy manner. So, that this is the given functional along with these two boundary conditions. Look at your functional f is independent of x and y, is not it? It is only function of y dash. In such cases, if we implement our Euler Lagrange's equation, then this equation will give us then this equation will give us a family of straight lines y is equal to ax plus b which is our admissible curves and if we use our y0 and y1 is equal to 0 these two condition that will give us a is equal to b is equal to 0 fine and from here what we are getting is y is equal to 0 that is nothing but your x axis clear y is equal to 0 means your x axis but uh, look at the condition carefully in the extra condition they have given us that a broken extremal that means your extremal should be broken but you are getting x axis as your extremal from this point of view fine that's why you can say this y is equal to 0 is never going to be your extremal because it is not satisfying the third condition given in our problem fine that's why y is equal to 0 is never going to be your extremal and your first option is discarded now to tackle the rest of the three options you should construct a function yx like this way yx is equal to yx is equal to x when 0 less than equal to x less than some t and 1 minus x for t less than x less than equal to 1 fine observe it carefully that it is satisfy each and every condition given to us because at x equal to 0 it is 0 at x equal to 1 it is 0 fine second thing it is it is broken extremal because if you try to draw if you try to draw the graph of that function then you will have this kind of thing fine that means it is broken no problem with that there is a peak there is a corner so its derivative has jump discontinuity fine so all the conditions are satisfying but what about the continuity condition we have to use the continuity condition here so as we have constructed at x equal to t if we simply use the condition of continuity then what we are having is like this way we can simply use the condition of continuity and from here what we are getting is t is equal to half so finally our function will be of this form yx is equal to x 0 less than x less than equal to half and it is minus half less than equal to x less than equal to 1 so here it is continuous also 
finally this yx is satisfying all the given condition that's why it is going to be our extreme one clear from that point of view it seems to be there is only a unique extreme one but just wait a moment and think like this way you can simply multiply with a k constant k isn't it where k is your any real number still it is satisfying all the given conditions just check all the conditions are satisfied by this function as well so it is going to be your extremal and in that case the number of extremals are infinite because because if you try to draw the graph of this function then what you are having is something like that depending upon the value of k you are having all these extremals fine and this is your x equal to half this limity and all the given conditions are fulfilled by this family of curves thus your second and third option are discarded because second option says that unique token extremum it is false and third option says that more than one but finitely many but here as your k belonging from r the number of extremals is going to be infinite so third option is also false and finally your fourth option is the correct one